Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to do one end-to-end -end Azure Data Factory project. So we have one of the business requirement. So first we will try to understand the business requirement, and then we will think about the solutioning part, and finally we will build a pipeline. So let us start with the business requirement. We have a data that is available in a Blob Storage account. So we have one of the Blob Storage account. In this Blob Storage, we have one of the container name as a input container. In this input container, I have a multiple files like the file A, file B, file C, like that. The multiple files are available. We need to move the data in another storage container, and we have to copy only the file which is not empty. So what we have to do? We have to take all the files from this input container, and we have to copy into the output container. But one condition we have to apply: we have to check whether whatever the file is available in the input container, if the file shouldn't be empty suppose if the file a is having data then we will copy suppose file b is having data then we will copy suppose this file c is empty then we will not copy into the output container so that is the condition we have to check create one data factory pipeline which will take all the files having the value and copy into the container so we have to perform a copy activity which will transfer the data from input to the output but there are several thing we have to check first thing is file shouldn't be empty and in a one data factory pipeline only we have to copy all those file where we have a proper values so that is the thing we have to remember now let's think about the solutioning parts so in this case what we will do first thing is like in this input container in this input container we have to check what are the files is available so what actually we'll do with the help of the get metadata activity we will check in the input container what are the files are available like all the files related details we will check with the help of the get metadata activity now because we have a multiple files right here file a b c then to copy a data one by one what actually we will use we will use a for each activity means we will try to iterate so first uh, with the help of the for each activity one by one we will try to check whether in this particular file we have a data or not and then only we will try to copy it so what actually we are doing first we are checking what are the files are available with the help of the get metadata activity because we have a multiple files so we are using a for each activity now under this for each activity we are using a set variable so in this set variable what actually we will do we will try to store all the file name so the file name is a b c right so with the help of this variable what actually we will do we will create one variable and in this variable we will try to store this all the file name so with the help of the set variable we will try to store all the file name now lookup this lookup will help to check the count like whether in the particular file we have a data or not what are the files are available so with the help of the lookup activity we will get to know what actually is available in that particular files whether we have a proper data or not what is the count so this all the details we will get from the lookup activity now finally we will do a if condition activity so in this if condition activity what we will check if in the lookup activity if in the file if having data so suppose if the file is having data then it will go into the true condition if the file is empty then it will go into the false condition so with the help of the lookup activity we are checking in the date we are checking the file and we are checking whether we have a data or not if the data is there with the help of the if condition it is going into the true activity if it is empty then it is going into the false activity now if it is a true if we have a proper value then what we will do we will perform a copy activity if file is having proper value then only we will perform a copy activity and we will transfer a data uh, from the output container so that is the logic actually we are thinking now let's try to build that and based on that actually we'll go further so let me share my screen so what i have done in azure data factory in azure account i have created one data factory i have created one storage account in this storage account this is the storage account i have created in the container you can see i have a two container one container is input container in this input container we have a multiple files like employee employee one you can see we have a empty file also and test csv this empty csv and the test csv here we don't have any data so if i'll show you this file is available but we don't have any data similarly in a empty dot csv so from what actually we have to do 
we have to check on which particular file is having a data and that data uh, that file only we have to take and we have to move into this output container as of now it is empty so i'll go to the my data factory studio what we will do we will create a new pipeline click on the new pipeline so i created a new pipeline now what is the first thing first thing is like to create a get metadata so with the help of the get metadata activity we will check in our source file what are the files are available so in in the input container in the storage account input container we have all the files right so first we will check what are the files are available so what i will use i'll use a get metadata activity click here and drag it in this general option we will go as it is go to the setting we will create a data set where our file is available blob storage so i will select the azure blob storage click on the continue my file is csv file so i'll select that and after that i will create a link service i'll select my subscription i'll select my storage account and after that i will click on the create now our link service will be created now file path we will select only the folder this input folder right where all the files are available that folder only i am selecting i am not selecting any file first row as header click on the okay now our get metadata you can see we have created a data set now in the field list click on this new here we have to select the child items so this child item will list down all the files which is available so i'll select the child item now after that our get metadata is ready if you want to debug click on this debug option now you can see it is succeed so i will click here this is the output now you can see in the child items we are getting all the file details like employee one employee csv file is there employee one dot csv file is there empty dot csv file is there test dot csv file is there means all the file details i am getting to know with the help of the get metadata now what i will do this all the files we have right this i will take one by one employee employee one and i will check whether proper value is there or not so what i will use i will use a for each activity there may be a multiple approach so i am following this there are multiple ways to solve this problem so you also try to think now i will just connect this with for each activity i'll click on this for each activity now in the settings we have to first select the sequential in the item whatever we are getting output from this get metadata that actually we will select in the item so i'll click on that dynamic content and from here we will select the get metadata child items you can see get metadata dot output dot child items so whatever the output we are getting from this get metadata we are passing in the for each activity so once you'll click on this for each activity in the setting in the item you have to mention this dynamic content now under this set activities so if you will see in our design we have we are getting to know all the files name we are using a for each now we will create one variable set variable so i will click on this activity here in this activity i will select the set variable i will click on this set variable we are going to create one variable and there we will store so i'll click on the new and the variable name is the file name this is the variable i am creating in this variable i just want to store the file name whatever we are getting from this get metadata so i have used this value click on the add dynamic content and this one right item dot name means file name we want to store so i am using a item dot name click on the okay now let me execute i'll click on the debug now in this set variable i should get all the file name one by one in this particular variable so you can see now you can see it is executed so first the get metadata output this all the files is there now in the set variable what is the first file name employee.csv what is the second uh, file name we have a employee1.csv means all the file name actually i am storing into this variable empty.csv so that is the thing set variable i have done now after that what i will do i will use a lookup activity to read the file one by one so i'll click here add activity click on the lookup click on the lookup in this lookup i'll select this lookup go to the setting 
we'll select the data set so this is the data set we have created so i'll select that this first row only right this you have to remove because we want all the file now select this wild wildcard file path now here in the add dynamic content so in a lookup activity what we are doing we have selected the data set first row only you have to uncheck in file path we have to select wildcard file path click on the add dynamic and this variable this file name variable right this actually we will pass here in the lookup activity now let me try to debug this what is the output we are getting in a lookup we'll get to know now you can see first get metadata one then for each one then set variable in this set variable the uh, file name is uh, employed or csv right this actually we are passing in the lookup so in a lookup we should get a value you can see the lookup one output is like this lookup one output is like count eight and these are the files and data is available so we are getting to know from the lookup activity what is the count of that particular file what are the values are present this all the information we are getting to know from the lookup activity it is executed so set variable to store the file lookup activity to check what what is the count of that particular file now what actually we will use we will use a if condition in this if condition we will check whether this lookup value whatever the files we have right there we have a proper count or not if the count is greater than zero means that is not empty file if count is uh, zero means that is an empty file so what i will use i am using a if condition activity in this if condition i'll go to the activity i will use expression in this expression i'll go to the activity output you can see lookup one dot count so this i will use lookup one dot count i'll use at the rate greater with the help of the greater i will check if the greater greater than zero so i am using this lookup activity count if greater than zero means that is a true condition for me so i'll click on the okay now if this condition is satisfying in the expression means that is a true activity if it is a greater than zero then only we have to copy a data means that is not empty file if it is a zero then it will go into the false condition and we will skip it now if the file is having a data and if the count is greater than one then it is a true right then what we will do we'll perform a copy activity so i'll use a copy activity in this i will select the source this is a source right now in this source uh, i'll select the wildcard file path and add dynamic content and this variable i will use so this is the source now in the sync we'll create a new data set where you want to store we want to store in a output container so i will use the same link service file path i want to store into this output container so i will use that click on the okay click on the okay now our pipeline is ready now let's understand one more time so what we have done uh, this is the pipeline we have created so first with the help of the get metadata we are getting to know all the file information that file name actually we are storing into the set variable lookup activity we are checking whether the file uh, what is the file uh, what is the count of the file and all the details we are getting to know from this lookup if condition we are checking in the file if the value and the count is greater than zero then if it is then it is a true then we are performing a copy activity otherwise we are skipping so that is the pipeline we have built now if i click on the debug let's see if any error comes then we will do debug otherwise the file should get copied into the output container you can see first get metadata one is started and this is the output we are getting after that the for each activity is started in this for each activity first set variable will be executed you can see set variable one the file name is employee.csv what is the count with the help of lookup we'll get to know count is six 
means greater than zero it should be a true because it is a true then you can see the copy data is started after that again set variable one you can see the file name is employee one dot csv and the lookup we have a proper value in this case what actually happening again the copy data is started now in the third case the set variable one you can see the file name is empty dot csv a lookup is started and after that the copy data shouldn't start because we have an empty file here right so you can see it it, it got skipped because we have a zero count is zero here means the copy activity not started it's going into the false category if it is a true then only the copy activity is happening you can see it is executed now now what i will go i will go to this input i will go to the storage account if i'll check into the output container only the two file where the proper value is there that only got copied if you'll see in an input container we have a empty.csv test.csv but that didn't got copy because this is an empty file so like that actually we have to solve so i hope you got the idea